Hello, this presentation demonstrates WPS capabilities inside of HS Layers. HS Layers is a JavaScript mapping framework built on top of Open Layers and XJS libraries with direct support for European Inspire initiative. In new version of HS Layers there is support for OGC WPS it uses openers format WPS classes for parsing and there is also XJS graphical user interface. Let us demonstrate it on several examples. The first example would be to make a buffer al al a line along of simple drawings or imported KML file. Here we have a standard geoportal with some capabilities one of them is WPS client the client directly connected to this WPS server the WPS server is uh, GeoServer1 here we have several processes and the client generates on the fly uh, based on described process response, the input form. So we have chosen a buffer process. We will choose the input data and we can choose custom drawings here. And the input type is to be WFS1. So now I will make a drawing and I want a buffer around 100 kilometers thick. Now I will execute it. When it is finished I can make here a selection of the result uh, and I want to display in the map. So this is it. Now we will import the KNL file Google. Connect and I want to. The name of the file is KML. Now I can zoom in to the file so I can see something. I will switch off here several layers and now. We will call the buffer, the buffer process once again with the KML file. About 50 kilometers and it's behind the map. So you can see he made three point buffers actually, start points on point through and middle point and some ending point. But this is the way how the Geo server makes the buffer on the on such input data. But we can also use Google. In this case we will call WPS server which is located on localhost. And this particular OGC WPS implementation is uh, by WPS. So here we have only one process. We will select the input data. This time I will make only 30 kilometers. And I want to display it in the map and this is how it looks like now. So there is already the line buffered as well. So this was the simple example. A little bit more complicated one would be uh, the usage of rasterized WFS layer. There is a it is a problem to display 
full feature WFS layer inside of JavaScript uh, client inside of some browser. One of the possible solution is the rasterization of input vector data on the server and uh, displaying the rasterized files. Once again, direct approach, uh, which is commonly used, is that there is some WFS client, for example, open layers, it gets some GML file from WFS server and uh, the data are directly displayed in the web browser. In, in HS layers, we implemented server side OWS proxy, uh, which is making WMS or pretending to be WMS server for the client, and it is also a client for some input WFS or WCS server as well. So the WMS, the open layers, is asking the OWS proxy as it would be WMS server, and uh, the, w the OWS proxy makes the real work, makes the rasterization of the input WFS data. This is how it looks. We will connect to some WFS server. This will take a while. Once this is done, we have a list of available WFS layers and we can, or feature types, and we can display it in the map. And the result is rasterized, rasterized map. Uh, we can also zoom in. Again, the input vector data will be rasterized on the server and they will be displayed directly here as WFS layer. And we can make these data to be input to our buffer process. So we will take our localhost WPS server and the input data is to be the Ocresi. And you make a buffer about 10 kilometers around each feature. It actually goes pretty fast. The input was here the reference to original data source, not the data themselves. And now we can display it in the map as well. confirm and here we go those are the buffered data so that's all thank you for your attention